Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the channel. Good evening. Tis Mantok here. And as you can see, I'm in the 182. And this evening, we're going to do an IFR run from Bristol to Shoreham. Uh, and the reason is, is, well, do I need a reason? And also, um, we have ATC on VATSIM uh, for both Bristol as well as Shoreham. So both approach controllers are on. So we're going to get stuck straight into it. Let's see. Okay, so let's just log our flight plan in the 720 uh, before we do our VATSIM flight plan. Let's go flight plan. Uh, EGGD at waypoint. Uh, now I have a flight plan here. Uh, WOTAN. Uh, next is uh, the Lima 9, um, and to add, uh, oh, add waypoint, how do I add a, uh, an airway, oh, I, I knew that, I know this, I do know this, um, uh, ah, yes, uh, load airway, that's it. We're going to have the Lima 9. Oh, okay, select exit. Sorry, yes, Nori. There we go. Load. So that's going to go all the way to Nori, and then our waypoint from Nori is direct to WOD. That's a VOR. VORs are always the three letters, unless it's an NDB. Uh, and then the airway M605. Uh, load airway uh, M0, uh, M605 to STD. SFD, sorry, Seaford. Yep. And then load. And boom, there we go. And from Seaford, we're actually going to do a direct to. Uh, let me see, that's pretty much direct to Shoreham. But at that point, we will probably go vectors. Um, actually, we might go um, back here and to uh, procedure um, approach uh, EGKA. Uh, and then, let me see what the wind is. Wind is. Uh, 110 at 8 knots, so we'll be landing uh, 02. So RNAV GPS 02. Uh, actually, no, that's not good. And loads of my housemates are coming home, so let's. Uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, let's go arrival instead. GKA. Is there anything we can do there? No, there isn't. There's no SIDS or STARS there. Okay, uh, let's not worry about that. Let's do that in another video. Let's cover arrivals in another video. Um, so, flight plan, takeoff, uh, da, 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 and Seaford. Right, so since we're going from <coughs> since we're going from east to west, I'd say that's an even Yes, that is an even uh, altitude, so let's call ourselves, uh, say, 6,000 6, feet, let's say. Okay, let me just plug that into uh, my flight plan. Uh, GQ, personal aboard, one departure, EGGD, destination EGKA. Flight route is going to be that. Cruising altitude, 6,000. True airspeed is going to be about 120 knots. There we go. And send to tower. Okay, right. So we've done that. Now let's have a check with... 
uh, Aetis and uh, get rocking and rolling. Okay, so Aetis for Bristol is 12602, so let's put that in. So they gave us um, a barometric setting in inches instead of Q and H, which we're just going to check here. It should be uh, 2982. So that's just 8182. That's 1009. So it's Q and H 1009. Just hit B to confirm, actually. One eleven. Let's just double check that on. On uh, yeah, what, it's actually one eleven. Apologies, that's Q and H one one zero one one. Okay, so we've got that information. Um, we have. Uh, let me just check. He might give me a SID, and if he does, Wotan. Yeah, he might give me the Wotan one Zulu. Wota. The Wota one Zulu Sid. If he does, I can um, let's just bring this up so that it's ready to go. Departure. Departure. Okay, that's there in case in case he wants to give that to me. Uh, and let's just double check where I am. I am down. Okay, so I would be okay. I'd be going. Hotel, Hotel Zulu, to hold at uh, Golf X-Ray. Okay, that's where I'd be taxiing. Um, bum ba bum bum. Right, let's just go have a chat with ATC now. So uh, Bristol approach is one two five six five. Let's plug that in. housemate of mine might come flying through the door in a minute, so um, I might just have to cut the video slightly. Good evening, Bristol Approach. Golf, Charlie, Uniform, Brother, Echo, Radio Check. I don't think that worked. Now, why isn't that working? Oh. Duh. I know exactly why. <laughs> I don't have the control panel up. Okay. Now it should work. Yeah. Good evening, Bristol uh, Approach. Golf, Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Echo. Uh, radio check. <coughs> uh, last station. I, uh, I only heard a very, very, very quiet from the mission. Um, I can't hear you at all. Okay, let's turn on my microphone. Recording, microphone, levels, microphone up. Good evening, uh, Bristol Approach. Golf, Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Echo, radio check. Golf, Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Echo, Bristol, radar, hello, readability 4. Still a flare, slightly quiet. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Recording levels 100. Uh, do I sound okay now? Um, um, Golf uh, Bravo Echo? Golf Bravo Echo, yes, really, really, really now, five. Okay, thanks. Uh, Golf uh, Bravo Echo. Uh, 
uh, with you. I got Bravo Echo, pass your message. Bristol Approach uh, Golf Charlie Uniform Bravo Echo is a Type Cessna 182 uh, requesting IFR departure to Shoreham uh, with information uniform QNH 1011. Uh, Golf Bravo Echo, information Tango, uh, you cleared to uh, Shoreham, Wotan 10 departure, Squawk 5415. That's information Tango, I can recheck. Uh, that's cleared the WOTA 1 Zulu, I believe it is. Uh, Squawk 5415, uh, Golf Bravo Echo. Golf Bravo Echo, rebike here. QNH 1011, report ready for start. We'll report ready for start, uh, Golf Bravo Echo. Cool, so that was lovely. We got uh, the departure we were anticipating, so it's always good to be to be ready for that. Uh, so we've just plugged that in now. Let's go back to the map and let's just zoom out so we can see what's going on. And that is uh, correct. That is the SID to Wotan. And we will um, we will contact him back when ready for departure. <coughs> oh yes, uh, that's uh, Squawk uh, 5415. Let's just put that in. Uh, 54 one five enter okay um, so it's on standby right now but we're going to put it over to active as soon as we're ready okay so we've already uh, started the engine uh, of course so let's go to the before takeoff checklist um, parking brake set yep passenger seat belt uh, passenger seat backs um, yep seat belts and uh, seats and seat belts uh, checked cabin doors closed and locked uh, flight controls are free and clear let's just check that um, our flight controls look to be look to be working as desired yep yeah, that's correct uh, bum bada bum bum flight instruments check and set okay let's just do that quickly uh, take off runway takeoff is going to be zero 09 so let's just set that in that's going to be due east so let's put uh, 09, let's just put my HSI needle to 09 as well. Uh, 09, okay. Uh, anything else I need? Um, uh, out, um, autopilot is uh, set for 6000. Um, my uh, Q&H is set and logged. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do right now for that. So that's flight instruments checked, fuel quantity is checked, yes, um, it's full on both tanks, I just filled up the other day. Um, uh, mixture is rich, let's just put the mixture rich there, as you can see. Uh, fuel selector valve, um, recheck both, that's an important thing, and yes, it's on both. So, we're just going to do a quick mag check here, so um, RPM 1800. And just flick over to the left to the first. Very slight drop there. And then over to the right. Very slight drop, but both within limits. So that's good. Let's just pull that back down to a thousand RPM. Um, while we're at it, make sure our pitot heat is in. Uh, beacon, uh, let's put our landing light off. Uh, we don't need the strobe while we're on the ground. Okay. Put that back down to a thousand RPM, roughly. Okay. So enunciate enunciator panel is checked. There is no uh, things ready. Let's just change that from nav to CDI, by the way, to GPS. Uh, throttle check is idle. Uh, throttle is a thousand RPM or less. Yes. Uh, throttle friction lock. I have no idea what that is, but I will find out one day. Strobe lights as desired. They are off for the moment, but we will set them on as soon as we get close to the runway. Radios and avionics are set. Yep. Uh, nav and GPS switch if installed is set. Yep. We just set set it to GPS. Autopilot if installed off for the moment. Uh, cabin windows closed and locked. Wing flaps set for takeoff. I'm going to put. Uh, 10 degrees in for my flaps, which is set. Um, bum, bada, bum, bum. I'm on a roll. Uh, cow flap open, good, good thing here. It is currently closed. Let's open that up because we're on the ground, and you will probably see, yeah, 
our cylinder head temperature is a little bit on the high side and that is because we were idling with it on the ground with the cow flap closed just until we opened it now. Uh, and then brakes released is the be the end of the before takeoff checklist. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going next checklist is the normal takeoff checklist. So let's um get our taxi clearance now and we will be good to go. Bristol approach Golf Charlie Uniform Bravo Echo ready for departure. Golf Bravo Echo start approved, outside there temperature plus three. Startup approved, um, plus three on the temperature, thanks, uh, Golf Bravo Echo. Okay, so obviously to actually start talking with him um, and to do this, I started the engine early. That's one of the things about um, flying in the UK, or I don't know if it's flying anywhere in the world in, in particular, but um, some airports uh, require you to ask for start clearance uh, and some give it, some just assume that you do it by yourself. So let's just drink some tea while we're pretending to start our engine. I'm actually starting my, my bodily engine by drinking tea. So in a way I'm not even having to simulate that on a computer, I'm actually starting my own my myself in real life, which is uh, which is much better. It's actually like literally guys, it's freezing in my room right now. My ra oh, oh my radiator just came on. Oh Okay. Okay. Control yourself, control yourself, you're on Vatsim. Okay, right. Um, yeah, let's call ready for taxi and get ready with that pen to make sure that we uh, don't miss his taxi clearance. Uh, Bristol approach, Golf, Bravo, Echo, ready for taxi. Golf, Bravo, Echo, taxi, holding point two eight X ray, runway two seven. Taxi holding point, uh, that was Golf, X ray, four two seven, Golf, Bravo, Echo. Golf, Bravo, Echo, negative, holding point Juliet, X ray. Oh, apologies, uh, Juliet, X ray, for Golf, Bravo, Echo for 27. Okay, so I see where he's doing He's actually, it's not 09 that we're going to fly out, it's going to be um, 27, so that's uh, Juliet X-Ray for 27. Cool. This is actually... No, it's not. Yes, it is? Is it? No, it's not. I seem to remember I've done, I've done this before. I don't know if I've done this particular uh, thing on a, on a VATSIM on a, on a, not a VATSIM, I don't think I've done this particular taxi instructions on a video before. I think I've taxied in here, but I haven't taxied out on a video. Yeah, I taxied here uh, on the IFR Cherokee. Um, yeah, I flew over from, from Cardiff to, to here. Uh, let's just make sure I don't overshoot. I'm pretty sure this is this is hotel. Oh shoot, I'm in the wrong place. Ha! He's going to tell me in a second that I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I went up hotel instead of Juliet. I'll show you on the on the chart in a second. I'm just going to He didn't see. He didn't see. He didn't see. It's fine. It's all good. He didn't notice. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just going to taxi a little bit briskly. It's all good. It's all good. You can get confused in the dark. And let's just try not to hit that taxi sign, which shouldn't be there. That would destroy our aircraft. And uh, as we come up close, let's have a look at the normal takeoff checklist. It's going to be wing flaps uh, 0 to 20 degrees, uh, power is going to be full throttle, mixtures rich, elevated control, lift nose at uh, 50 to 60, climb is 70, and then you retract the flaps. So we will be ready for that. Okay, I'm going to get close to the runway wind now, so before I forget, I'm going to pop on my strobes, like so, and actually I'm going to... Golf Bravo Echo, via Juliet X-ray on me to uh, zero 09 then. Uh, 
Uh, backtrack a lot of weight wrong way zero now. Uh, we'll backtrack and line up for zero 09 uh, Golf Bravo Echo. Okay, so he's actually... I uh, He said 27 earlier, but now he said zero 09. So I'm actually going to backtrack a long way. I could have backtracked from hotel. It would have been closer, but you never know. There's basically no one else around at the moment, so it's all good. We don't need to, uh... I mean, I've got time to be able to backtrack this far, so... I'm just going to... <coughs> but yeah, everything's going smoothly so far. We've got a lovely IFR flight plan plugged in to our Garmin GTN 750. And uh, everything seems to be all hunky dory, as far as I can see. Um, let's just make sure that uh, the next checklist after the normal takeoff checklist is the the en route or en route climb checklist, and then the cruise checklist. So we can't forget those. Okay. Um, Let's actually just turn around here. We we don't need all this runway. It's all good. Let's not make this video any more long-winded than it, than it already will be. Whoa, spinny, spinny! Golf Bravo Echo ready to go uh, zero nine. Did he hear me? He should. I think he should. He is probably preparing. <coughs> Bristol approach, Golf Bravo Echo, ready to go, zero 09. Is he there? He should be there. Yeah, should be there. Oh, we have London Control on as well. 1337. Let's just write that down in case he passes us over. Cool. Uh, Bristol Radar 8 is available. I want to do this on a pressure. Uh, Bristol uh, Radar? Hey, go for a Sorry about that, um, my uh, computer decided to decide to shut down on me. Uh, you clear for takeoff on way 09, surface wind 360 degrees, 8 knots. Clear takeoff uh, 09, thanks, no worries, Golf Bravo Echo. You see, ATC controllers on VATSIM are real people too. Right, so mixture rich, power full, and lift nose at 50 to 60. Boom. That was that was quick. That was good. Uh what is our uh unsuspend? What the crap? Okay. Um so now we're going to go autopilot. No, actually no, let's just get stabilized on the So eighty knots, let's flaps up. Thousand feet. Let's just trim and prepare to go flick on the autopilot there we go nav boom let's just bring that up and boom there we are and let's just check our rate of ascent is let's just say a thousand feet per minute that seems fair Climbing very well now. Golf, Bravo, Harry, Squad, Company, Charlie. 
Report you passing altitude. Squawk Charlie and passing uh, 1,900 Golf Bravo Echo. Golf Bravo Echo, thank you. Climb now, flight level 60. Climb flight level 60, Golf Bravo Echo. Boom, so we cleared up to 60. Lovely. So that's just a smooth ascent up to 6,000 feet at uh, and our autopilot is holding very well and uh, our speed is good 127 knots our ground speed is 119 <coughs> um, yeah everything's looking okay we d our takeoff time was about uh, 6 5 p.m. let's just note that down for pirep purposes later on just monitor yeah, our rate of ascent is fluctuating slightly because of turbulence, but that's okay. As long as our speed keeps above 100 knots, as soon as it starts getting close to or below 100 knots, um, the aircraft starts to pitch up more and more and more to, to hold the ascent rate. But because we're going slower, obviously it needs to pitch up more to continue that ascent rate, and that's where a stall can very quickly and dangerously happen. So we're going to stop that from happening by making sure that we don't drop below 100 knots and uh, just keeping an our, our eye on that. Everything else is going okay. Uh, at this time, I'm going to start leaning out. I'm going to put 75% lean. Um, that should be fine. Have a look at the EGT reference needle. Um, our peak, yeah, we're going to adjust that when we're in the cruise, but for the moment, we're still okay. Let's just check. We do have, uh, let's turn taxi light off. Oh yes, uh, also, before I forgot, en route climb, uh, airspeed is above 85 to 95, power 23 inches. Uh, um, let's just bring that back to 23 inches manifold pressure. 22, let's bring that up. Twenty-two point six. That, that's about good. Okay, so that was twenty-three inches and twenty-four uh, twenty-four thousand RPM. So let's just bring that down. That's good. That's the climb. That's mixture. Fifteen gallons per hour. Full rich. Okay. Well, it's asking for full rich, so I'm going to give it full rich. Uh, it's currently at fourteen point nine. Just make it 15, yeah, about 15 gallons per hour is good. Uh, cow flaps open as required. Now, um, that is this uh, cylinder head temperature. As soon as we get into cruise, we can uh, close that down. Uh, we're at minus 4 Celsius at the moment, so 4 below freezing. So we've got a pitot heat on, which is good. Um, and in a, it, soon he will, so as soon as we get outside his airspace, uh, he's probably going to hand us off to London Control, as far as I know. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Oh, oh, speed, 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 speed. Right, let's start. I caught that. I caught that before. Let's bring back the rate of ascent to uh, 500. That's going to be fine. And then make sure that's uh, armed, the altitude is armed. We've only got 500 feet left to go, so that's cool. That's all good. Uh, I just caught the speed there and made, wanted to make sure that we didn't pitch up too much to be in a stall, like I said earlier. Um, okay, let's just have a look at what's going on over here. So you always have to keep on top of these things, I think. Like... Oh, that radiator is good. Oh, my goodness, my fingers are freezing. Um, so we're going to come into the cruise checklist in a minute. So, looks like we're... Yep, we're starting to... We're going to be up at our cruise altitude in uh, 200 feet. Um, and right there is uh, Filton. Is that an Air Force Base? No, I don't think so. Uh, Filton, Bristol. That's that's what that is there. Um, so, let's just change our HSI to uh, 032. like so, and our heading, just in case we have to deviate.
Okay, we're holding nicely now at uh, 6,000 feet, so let's do our uh, cruise checklist. Power 15 to 23 um, inches on our manifold, so let's put that 15 to 23. Uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much good. Let's just put 75% throttle. Uh, elevator and rudder trim adjust. Mixture lean, cow flaps closed. Right, let's close down them cow flaps. Cow flaps. They're like cow flaps, like a cow in a field, but actually it's cowl. It's actually pronounced cowl. Cool, throttle echo. Do you require a service outside control airspace? Uh, if you can give me one, that would be great, but uh, if not, that's fine. Uh, Golf Bravo Echo? Golf Bravo Echo, but I can indeed give you one that has speed complex in service outside control airspace. Uh, thanks, uh, Golf Brother Echo. Uh, just a question, is uh, London Control on at the moment? Uh, Golf Brother Echo, negative. Uh, I will be giving you a radar service uh, 40 miles from Bristol. Uh, so you've still got a while to go until you get handed off to, uh, to Unicom. Okay, thanks for that, uh, Golf Brother Echo. Cool, so uh, lovely. If you have a question, um, always ask it. Um, so where were we? Where were we? Mixture, lean, cow flaps closed. Okay, let's lean out our mixture. That's what we're going to do now. Oh, uh, no, actually, what's our RPM supposed to be? 2,000 to 2,400. Let's just, just bring that that uh, that propeller pitch backwards slightly. That's the blue. Um, let's bring it back to 2,200-ish. Seems all right. Okay, let's have a look at our mixture now. Okay, pull back that uh, mixture and you'll see the EGT gauge rising just there. Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. And what we need to do is we need to find the peak. And we find the peak by whenever the needle comes up and up and up and up. And as soon as the needle kind of levels off and starts to fall, that's where we know the peak is. And I think I've just about found it. Yeah. Okay, so that is the peak just there. So I'm going to push the mixture in again to richen the mixture, and we're going to sit our mixture about 50 degrees rich of peak, or we're going to try to. So we're going to have uh, each, each notch on the gauge is about 25 degrees. Excuse me. So we're going to have uh, at least 50 degrees rich of peak. The, the 182 will do about 50 to 100 degrees rich of peak. So we're all good. We're all good. So he mentioned handing off to 122.8 to Unicom, not London Control. So let me just double check on VATSIM where London Control is. Sometimes they have north, south, east, and west controllers. He's north. Ah, okay. He's London Control north, right. But on VATSPY, it only it shows the entirety of the UK being, being on. So, um, And then we're going to be chatting with Callum Presley uh, when we get to Shoreham Approach. So that's cool. La 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 la. Right, how's our mixture doing? Let's push it back in slightly. That's about good. I'd say that's that's good. I'd say that's good. Okay, so we're all fine and dandy. We're all fine and dandy. Um, see, taxi beacon is on. Nav and strobe and pito heat. Yeah, everything's good. So this is what it's like to fly IFR on the 182 on VATSIM with the Garmin GTN 750. It's lovely. It's lots of fun. I like this. You get to go places in the dark, in the night, where VFR pilots fear to tread. <laughs> um, evil laugh of narcissism. Let's just have a look at the outside exterior model here. Uh, you'll see we are... Yeah, we're kind of fidgeting from left to right. There is a little bit of turbulence, not that much to be, n not enough to even be worried about, to be honest. Um, let's just, let's just do a wind check and let's see where our wind is. Uh, da -da -da -da. Actually, yeah, wind check is uh, 0 3 5 from uh, 24 knots. I'm just looking at Plangy on my laptop there. Um, so we're actually going straight into the wind, pretty much. Uh, which should be reflected in our ground speed. So if we have a look, our airspeed is 132 knots and our ground speed is 118, so that leaves about, I don't know, 20 odd, an odd 20 degree, uh, 20, 20 knots less, 
which means that we've got roughly 20 to 24 knot headwind, which is correct, which is shown on plan G. So soon we're coming up to our turn from Wotan, and we will soon be going on to the uh, Lima 9 airway. <coughs> Excuse me. La. So um, the FS7, uh, the, the Flight 1750 will soon tell us to change the HSI needle onto the new track. Uh, currently the track is direct, uh, is, is 035, which is correct. Uh, we don't actually have to change the track to make the plane turn. The plane will turn in and of itself, look, okay, uh, right to 103 in 7654. So it's just alerting us and telling us, get ready for the turn. Um, so let uh, uh, 103 is the turn, and as you can see, the aircraft is turning of its own accord. We don't actually have to touch it. It's in cruise, it's being handled, everything's fine. But we will just, for continuity's sake, turn the HSI needle to 103. Go 104, 103. I'm just going to sit and clutch the radiator now because it is freezing in the sky. Oh, we had snow in Cambridge today. S we had the snow in Cambridge for the first time in two years now. So, yeah, it was an interesting day at work. So, I might make a break in the video here, folks, at the moment uh, while we're in cruise. If anything interesting happens, of course, I will cut back. Um, but for the moment, guys, uh, I will uh, see you back when something interesting happens. Well, well, we're here. Radar services terminated. Um, one Unicorn, one two two decimal eight. For information, you should be calling Sean Approach on one two three decimal one five zero for a uh, service outside controlled airspace in around uh, two zero miles. Uh, thanks, Bristol Radar. That's uh, one two two decimal eight, uh, and over to Shoreham on one two three one five in about two miles. Was that uh, Golf Bravo Echo? Uh, Golf Bravo Echo. I'll leave it out at about twenty twenty five miles because uh, Shoreham has got the same range as me, it's forty miles. So it shouldn't be too long until uh, you can uh, give Shoreham a call. Okay. Thanks very much uh, for your help. Uh, one two two. One two two decimal eight, uh, and I'll say good evening, uh, Golf Bravo Echo. <coughs> Bye. Okay, so we're now on one two two decimal eight. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention in the meantime was uh, once we climbed up to flight level uh, six, we needed to change over to uh, QNH one zero one three because that is the uh, that's the transitional, that's the IFR uh, flight level Q&H, standard Q&H is uh, 1013. Okay, we have a problem here folks in that uh, Shoreham does not have any ILSs, so we are going to have to have a check, and we're going to have to pull out a very quick Shoreham NDB DME for zero 02 uh, approach. So that's going to be that's going to be uh, overhead Shoreham with a left hand turn onto the downwards track. The outbound the outbound leg is uh, one eight six for 5.5 nautical miles and then turn on to uh, 023 and a distance 4.4 nautical miles do your descent to uh, what is distance 1 um, bum, 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 bum. the procedure of the power of graph and um,
Oh, hi folks, we've got 12942. Good evening, London Control, Golf, Charlie, Charlie. Uniform, Bravo, Echo with you, uh, 6,000 feet, or flight level 6. Golf, Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Echo, London Control, good evening, Roger, we'll we'll be back shortly. Break, break, the is 8839, London Control, good evening, squawk 0361. Squawk 0361, Skyway is thank you. So London Control South just came on. So we have some added ATC assistance into uh, Shoreham tonight. So good evening, uh, German Wings 847. And Dr. Uniform Bravo, <laughs> should be fine. So are currently inside of control airspace at the moment. Um, and uh, we're just confirming, would you like to remain? Oh, actually, just regard, sorry, let's just realize your platforms now. Hi, oh, Roger, okay. 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 <laughs> Golf Club Echo, you can continue routing uh, direct to Seaford, Sierra Fox Rock Delta, maintain our speed 6,000 feet, P3 2 and H1 0 1 1. Uh, thanks, that's direct Seaford VOR, altitude 6,000, uh, remain on. Uh, sorry, what was the QNH again, uh, Golf Bravo Echo? Golf Bravo Echo, the QNH Heathrow at the moment, 1011. 1011, uh, Golf Bravo Echo, thanks. Cool. So um, he, I can remain on. Uh, I can remain on uh, Q and H one zero one one. He said direct Seaford. So let's just select that in our seven fifty direct. Uh Skyway eight eight three nine. He said now to us speed six thousand feet. Q and H one zero one zero. Direct Seaford. Boom. He said it's six thousand feet. Q and H one zero one zero. Skyway eight eight three nine. North Shore 7 Charlie Whiskey descends out now to altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1010, and expedite until passing 5,000. 4X3047, you're not in my space at the moment, so continue with Unicom, 122 decimal 8 until call. Okay, 128 until call for X2047. Skyways 8839, descend now to altitude 4,000 feet. And into altitude 4,000 feet, Skyways 8839. Skyways 8839, fly heading now to 80 degrees. Uh, apologies on this head about transmission, Skyways 8839. Skyways 8839, turn left now, heading to 80 degrees. Turn left, heading to 80 degrees, Skyways 8839. Look at all speedbird 974, Airbus 319, speed depth from Australia, Gatwick, Cologne. Speedbird 974, Atlantic Patrol, good evening, you're cleared to Cologne, Dover, to Papa, departure, school 3403. And just to note, Dover, um, departure, squawk 3403, Daniel Burt. Thanks for saying hello. Back is correct. QNH1010, information Charlie, report ready. <coughs> This guy just won't stop talking. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel Burt, for saying hello. Um, yeah. If you are a subscriber, uh, thank you very much for subscribing, and uh, hope you like Go the video. Echo, continue on your present heading to traffic and send now to altitude 5,000 feet. Q and H one zero one zero. Descend 5,000. Uh, Q and H one zero one zero. Golf Bravo Echo. Golf Bravo Echo, continue on the present heading. Continue on a present heading, a Golf Bravo Echo. North Shore 7 Charlie Whiskey, turn right heading 360 degrees. Turn him right heading 360 degrees, Skyway 8839. Madam, Uber 974, right, sir? Uber 974, push and start is approved. Face to the south, QNH 1011. 
Route Patriot Alice 974. So we're descending now on... 974, need to please on the QNH 1010, please. QNH 1010, speak with me, Route 4. I'm sorry, Ryan, I'm Mike Bravo. Sorry, Ryan, I'll be back shortly. Sky was 839, confirm your heading was 280 degrees. The heading was 280 degrees for the uh, Sky. Sky was 839, heading 2830 degrees. Uh, sorry, heading 280 degrees, Sky was 839. Normal 7 Charlie Whiskey, turn right now, heading 030 degrees. Sorry, I think you two got the um, wrong transmissions. I didn't pick up the repack, sorry. Ryan Air 6 Bravo, Landing Control, good evening. Climb flight level 290, direct to Dover. Okay, so we're now Five flying... Climb flight level 290 and direct Dover, Ryan Air 6 Bravo. Now flying 5,000 feet. North Shore 7, Charlie Whiskey, you've left control airspace. It's a deconfliction service. You'll, you're clear to re-enter on the heading of 030 degrees. Good evening, I'm heading Mm. Sky is AA three nine expedite your descent until reaching four thousand feet. Expedite and descend down four thousand sky is AA three nine. Ladies and gents, um, sorry for that. For some particular reason, I know not what, uh, my fraps stopped recording. I don't know if this was me accidentally pressing the, uh, uh, the uh, control W button while I was in flight, but for some particular reason it stopped recording. It may have been that the file size just became too large. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, I think it was probably related to me accidentally pressing the button, I just never knew it. But basically, I stopped, the recording stopped somewhere around uh, Compton v, uh, the Compton VOR, or maybe a bit further on from that. Uh, basically, I'll let you know what happened. I came down, uh, came fairly close to a few aircraft down that were coming in and out of Gatwick. Um, and while I got down to Gatwick, uh, I was vectored uh, on a more southerly course to hit Shoreham instead of the Seaford VOR uh, and I got closer to Shoreham and I I did an attempt at the uh, lock, no not the lock, sorry, I did an attempt at the NDB DME approach to uh, runway 02 at Shoreham um, and everything went according to plan except for the fact that um, I was so concentrating on what I was doing, I forgot that I had to manage my own altitude as soon as he said you are cleared to the approach, cleared for the lo uh, the NDB DME approach. Um, I was so kind of fixated on the fact that in IFR they tell you when to descend and to climb and they tell you what altitude you should be at and what heading you should be at. Um, and I was kind of in the back of my mind I thought that's okay it's okay he will tell me when to descend so I was at uh, I believe I wasn't 4,000 feet it was yeah actually I think it was 4,000 feet I was coming into Shoreham and he said cleared to the cleared for the uh, NDB DME approach uh, 02 at Shoreham and as soon as that happens you're cleared into the approach and as soon as you begin the approach you manage yourself uh, to the runway threshold um, and the approach plate actually tells you exactly what altitude to be at what distance at what heading uh, you know and such and such etc um, I was not I was in a kind of fluster because it was IFR and VATSIM and it was it was a, an NDB DME approach despite the fact that I'd, I'd done a video on the NDB DME approaches down at Jersey if you remember that uh, those two part the uh, part two parts of videos um, down there but uh, despite this uh, th this is why you're only seeing uh, 
uh, what this is why the video says part one instead of the you know the entire IFR journey from Bristol to to Shoreham. Um, what I will do is I will s soon I will upload uh, an approach an IFR approach to an airfield um, on VATSIM in the 182. Um, and at the moment I've come down with a bit of a cold, so I'm afraid I will probably. Uh, do a different video. Um, I will probably get the naval action video done, but uh, for the moment, this is what there is. Um, apologies, uh, it's never happened to me before, but but that's just why you don't see the end of this video. So, um, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching, and I will catch you next time.